All right, time for some more Saturday morning gaming, and this time nothing for the Famicom, no Japan only stuff. Yet, ironically, this version of this game is the only one in this series that came out in Japan. You know, playing Bubsy on the Super NES. <sighs> I remember when I first played this. It was like at a relative's house over for a visit on the other side of the state, and well, it was my first time really sitting down with a bloody hell. Sitting down with a Super NES, and we rented a bunch of games, and this was one of them. Even back then, I could tell there really wasn't much special that it. it was okay, but since I had. Super Mario World to compare it to, it's like, really? Really? Ironically, at the time, it did get some good reviews, like from, I don't know, it was EGM gave it like a 7 or an 8 or something. It actually is looked down upon more now than it was back then, because back, well, now, with the benefit of hindsight, we can see just how much it just wanted it just wanted a piece of the Sonic pie. It was just kind of shamelessly following that trend. I mean, just, you, just as soon as he stops, he just looks at you, just gives you that like, like attitude filled like gaze and come on, really? What? What the fuck was that? I think they wanted to make a cartoon about this guy, and and a pilot was actually made. Whoa! Got spot there. Yeah, and Bubsy too. That was probably the best of the bunch. Of course, that's only relatively speaking. It still wasn't that good. Level design was kind of just all over the place, but. At least, it was just a little better, and then there was Bubsy 3D, which is just... Well, GameSpot nailed it. It said, Of all the 3D platformers thus far, Bubsy 3D is the least fun, and gave it a 5 out of 10, which is the fairest review it's probably ever gotten. Alright. Oh, okay, I got a thing. I'm just flipping around. Yeah, back then, this actually looked good. These were... Art style was okay. The control was okay. Just hard to control this momentum. Uh, damn it. Yeah, the problem with controlling Bubsy's momentum, that continued well into Bubsy 3D. <laughs> I remember the first time I traded that. I, I was kind of getting the hang of it, and then... And then I couldn't stop in time, he dipped his toes in the water, and that registered as a DEATH. And that's pretty much when I gave up on Bubsy 3D the first time I played it. I wanted to go back to it, but for some reason... Ugh. Yeah, it wasn't recording right. Okay, I got past the first level, yay! But I just playing this on my Retron 5 while I have it out and not soloing my NES with, I mean, Super NES with this. Yeah, so yeah, I've played Bubsy, Bubsy 2, Bubsy 3D. The only one I haven't played is, of course, the Jaguar game, because why would I? Yeah, this shit again. Can I bounce on the tray? Yes, I can. Knocking on Bubsy, it's a trend among retro gamers these days. Sort of like... I view it kind of like knocking Justin Bieber. It's like, what's the p point? I mean... I new Bubsy game, so... You don't really have to voice your displeasure. Just don't play these anymore, and... Bubsy, you turd blossom. I mentioned I never really liked this game much. Yeah, 
Bubsy 2 was about as good as it got. Ironically, the guy who spearheaded this franchise's inception... He thought Bubsy 2 was absolute shit and almost ruined it. And then he went to work on Bubsy 3D. How am I supposed to get down? I mentioned I don't like heights. This game hasn't aged particularly well, that's for sure. Okay, I can't drop down. Am I supposed to grab that thing? Don't! Did I mention I don't like heights? Did I mention I fucked your mom last night? Ugh, furry. A furry innuendo. Why did I... I, I... I apologize for that. That was very inappropriate. And what the hell am I collecting yarn for, anyway? Oh yeah, something about the story for the game is these aliens are stealing yarn. Oh god, I thought the fucking aliens in Bart vs. the Space Mutants were just fucking... Cheese. I mentioned I don't like heights. Killed me with fucking cheese. Is this goddamn Wisconsin? Okay, I can bypass that fucker. And that fucker. Can I go in the door? Yes, I can. Ah, uh, that's no good. I don't want to go back here. Now what's going on? Now I'm in a bonus area? Why didn't I go through there the first? This makes no goddamn sense. That better not have been a death or anything. Okay, oh, now I go... Ugh. That's the one thing that really killed this game for me, even when I played it at the tender age of 11 years old when I should be all over cartoony shit like this. Level layout. It's a make break for me. I mean, I've said it before, and I said it again. That was my big beef with Metroid Other M. Not the emo thing or all that other crap people bitch about. The the level layout just felt all lackluster. This combined just combine uninteresting level layout with this one hit death bullshit where you, they want you to run like Sonic, but you just speed around uncontrollably and hit stuff and die in one hit. Ugh. this sold well enough to justify the few sequels it got. How? There was no internet back then, that's how. Eat my ass. Another save point, yay. Okay, the music changes, is there a boss or something? Does he really have to go into a big ball of violence every time he steps on something? Shouldn't he just go up and do that to the enemy? Just He's a fucking bobcat! Can't he maul these assholes to death? Great leap of faith time. Oh, wait, 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 there's a platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna figure this shit out, game. Oh, now it's leap of faith time. SHIT! Oh. Okay. Steady. Okay, now where do I go? Ugh. I think this is the farthest I've ever got. I literally have not played this game since my uncle rented it for me and my cousins when I was 11. I'm literally playing something I haven't touched in over 20 years, and that wasn't solid ground. Did I mention I don't like heights? around anymore, Bubsy. Very good reason. Apparently, another company owns it now, and they released the Twofer. P uh, Ascension PM, because of course it was. The, the Twofer for fucking Steam or whatever, which has this and Bubsy too, and they're kind of exploring into 
like making new Bubsy games or something. I think the question on all our minds is why and how did he hit me? I should have jumped on him. And he looks perfectly fine, yet it's still a goddamn game over. Ugh. Why did I bother bo Oh, yeah. I got this on an eBay auction. No one else bid on it, so I got it for $8.11. Which is a fair price for a game that's kind of... Yeah, I could get really good and just... And just own this game, like speedrun the shit out of it or something, but... Why would you want to? And there was a checkpoint right there. How long do these levels go on? I thought it was just a Jaguar game that had the insane level length. Whoa, that's a bullet there. All right. I got the things. Eh, what are you so happy about? More like a bridge too short. Oh, how, how, how very weird. And it's the same type of... Is it like Kid Icarus where the first three levels are the same aesthetic and then later on you get something interesting? Okay, this is kind of remind me of the... Th uh, Green Hill Zone Act 3 in the original Sonic. Going up, up, up right away. And down, down, down he goes. If you're gonna want to make a game like Sonic, where he speeds around, don't make it one-hit deaths, and don't make him die from falling too fucking far! <sighs> I mean, what was wrong with the programmers? Did they actually think this shit was gonna work? And... I did not go off the edge on purpose. I mean... <sighs> He just ran down on his own. I'm serious. It's like you hit an incline and he just wants to go down. See? I'm not touching it. God damn. Leap of faith time. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I still die anyway? What's the point of going up there if it's certain death? I can't get back down. Good, I'm done. There's a reason Bubsy's not around anymore. <laughs> 